remember in our uh, what we ate in a day, we went on the car boot sale, and a friend of ours who does car boot sales was packing up, and he uh, had a box, and he said, do you want to take this box of stuff, or shall I take it to the charity shop? And I thought, well, we might as well take it and have a look and see what's in it, you never know, one man's junk and all that. Anyway, don't know what's in it, haven't opened it, thought we'd do it with you guys. So um, the first thing that I pulled out just from the top here was this. It's a leather cigar holder. Holds three cigars. Made by Davidoff, which is marked on the front. Now I've got Kath helping me because there's quite a lot of stuff to go through here. So I've asked Kath to help with looking things up. Um, and one of them went in England for how much, Kath? Um, about... Um auction about 36 pounds auction very nice but there are others that have sold in america for like getting on for 150 pounds so for the first thing to pull out the box um, that's good but i, I can't <laughs> imagine you get that for it but you know silly prices and all that ever hopeful ever hopeful let's take this off Ooh. well well the first thing that, that i've seen here is is you know me with my egg cups, look at that. I might even keep that. <laughs> Another egg cup. It's got a maker's name on the bottom. It looks like Karam. Let's put it up there so you can see. I'll have a quick look online. I'll get Kath to have a quick look online. Okay, so we can't work out that maker's name. And there is a tiny chip in it, so I may well keep it. But I am a member of an egg cup collector's. Uh, page on Facebook because that's how much I love egg cups <laughs> so I'm going to pop a photo on there and see what they have to say the next thing in the box which was also just on top like the cigar holder is this new way tape head cleaner eight track these go for around seven pounds with the sort of going top and then oh that's cute oh I can't see a little wool plaque gear head a little bit of damage on the back here. So yeah, he is kind of Boston-esque. They do a lot of like plaques like this. Mostly they're not worth very much because they're mass produced. You do get the odd one or two that are worth a lot of money. However, he's got no maker's name. A little bit of damage there, as is probably around about a fiver. If I can't find information on lots of things, like these two, then um, I might do a drop lot on eBay and just see if I can sell them like that. Right, should we unwrap something? Let's unwrap this. Ooh, oh, handcrafted. Little glass topped with stopper. So that's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, thinking perfume bottle, uh, nice on a dressing table. Five to ten pounds postage on top. Nice colour, nice little item. Um, let's unwrap something else. Oh, well, this is an interesting little jug. There's no maker's name on the bottom. It's got a bit of a, a boat scene on it. Seems to be in good condition, no chips or cracks. So it says um, Navigio. Um, I think it's depicting part of the Bay Tapestry, so it's a kind of tourist piece depicting a part of the history. I'm not sure if it's French or Nordic, but it's a good solid jug. Could do with a bit of a clean. About five pounds again with postage on top. Next up, oh, this one actually has a label on. That's always handy. Uh, it's a. I think it's a pen holder for desk very very heavy and it says it's made from uh the now rare ashburton marble ashburton is a town not far from us it says the only true english marble made by marble craft so on ebay i should be able to get 15 to 25 pounds for that one so that's a nice piece and then i'll just take them out of record oh it's got pepsi on it not literally, I mean like the Pepsi logo. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, the 59th Street Bridge song, Feeling Groovy, Here come, Comes My Baby. 
but these don't really seem to go for very much one to three pounds mostly they don't sell so that might go into the bundle um, and then here we have focus item uh, a connection pipe for domestic hot cold water supplies only this should go for around about five pounds uh, so i'll put that there we've got some new in its packet uh, we have some dominoes in their own little box it's got four pound label on <laughs> so yeah again not too much about 10 pounds all in for the dominoes wondering if it's a bakelite case celluloid but yeah about 10 pounds all in The King and I. Oh, look at that reel. I was expecting a CD. <laughs> and it's not a CD. Uh, it's from the World Record Club, The King and I, TLMP20. How could you fail me? Yep. What are these going for? Uh, £3.50 free posting. Really? I'd have thought that might have been quite nice. Okay, well that's that. Little book. Toy Town Party, a pixie book. Doesn't that look lovely? I'm not going to read you the story. Look at the pictures. <laughs> I love books like this. Okay, so it seems these have a bit of a, a range of prices from anywhere from a pound to like seven pounds. So it might stick that one in the middle there. Um, maybe three pounds, somewhere around there. Right, there's a, there's a wooden ruler, but it's actually broken, so I'm not going to do much with that. That's fine. Um, I'm going to get this one out of the way. I don't know much about these kind of things. Made in England. There are four marks on the back as well. Just up there. Uh, it says, presented to Company Sergeant Major C.T. Wiles from All Ranks Headquarter Company. The Devonshire Regime First Rifle Volunteers for his retirement in 1965. That's a shame, isn't it, that it's there, don't you think? Mm -hmm. A piece of history, a piece of somebody's personal history as well as uh, the army history as well. I honestly don't know much about these things. Did you want to have a quick look, Kath? Mm -hmm. Go on then. So the markings on the back tell us this is electroplate nickel silver. Um, it would go for eight to fifteen pounds. I'm not sure whether to throw it in the job lot. There's this, and potentially this. Not sure yet. Um, we'll see. Next up, we have some cutlery. I can tell it's cutlery before I've even opened it, but it's got a name on it. Arthur Price of England, County Selection, Sheffield. I don't know if you can see that is on the blade. Uh, Looks like four of each, four spoons, four knives, four forks, and some serving spoons as well here. Are they the same? These are different. So these these in here would be the Alpha Price and these are a different maker. But they're hallmarked. So I find that also interesting. A full set of these would be be about £70 with postage. This is not a full set. I could sell a spares. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 pieces there. Maybe get £15 for them. The spoons, the serving spoons. I need to do a bit more research on those, I think. This is this is luring me in, this is. It's a camera. It's a Polaroid Instant 20. if it works or not it comes with the bag oh and there's the flash that goes on top as well look oh flash cube from boots it says <laughs> but that's come in the bag with a polaroid five off oh really mind you you've got the flash so you know you might be able to get a bit it's a polaroid case with a polaroid name on as well yeah ah. So you know, you might actually find the case worth more than the camera. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a look? Yeah, not very, not very much. Uh, okay, I'll look up the case. 
there's a little bit of rusting around the um, clips there. Might be able to clean it's that up. Looks like it's a bit of damage. A bit of damage on the side as well. But still, I was interested as to what was in this. Yeah, Polaroid 20 vintage with manual and extras. It's from 1960. Okay. Uh, 550 plus eight pounds and five pence posted. There you go. Mm. It's something, isn't it? Now let's go for something a little easier to look up. So we've had a few tricky, tricky things. I'll put this to one side. We'll look at that in a minute. Articulate the game. Chuck it all in there. Have you all seen Articulate before? You get some with yellow yellow boxes, you get some with pink boxes. If you find the metal box ones, pick them up. They sell very well, the metal box ones. Oops, there's the cards. There's only two pieces, I think there should be more than two. So maybe missing some pieces. But do you know what? I think I've got some spares upstairs, so that's okay. Always check the boards, make sure that the boards are in good condition and they're not falling apart on the creases with all games this is. And that board's fine. Have you found it? Um, 650 plus postage. How many pieces does it have? Um, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Just looking at the... Yeah, oh. there's another one went for £7.50. This is this. Yeah. 750 plus postage, but you do find that a lot of people are selling spares as well. Yeah. So, I mean, even if it's not complete, you could sell the spares. Okay. Yeah. And there's also, under here, I spotted Articulate Kids, and it's a very small version. Articulate for Kids. Whilst we're on the theme of Articulate, it's just the card box. So, that's on there on it, Cass looking it up for me. Four ninety nine free postage. Okay. That's okay. And then something else that's easy to look up, I'm going for the easy to look up options down there. Ooh, that's interesting down there. PS3, EA Sports, Active 2. That's the box. The box is a bit worn. Uh, it seems to come with Yes, and I can see them in there. I don't know what it is. Some sort of belt. Let's see if it says on the back. Some straps. Personal trainer, is it? Or yes, it is, yeah. yeah. Some sort of straps that you put around your wrists and your legs. I suppose I better look inside. <laughs> yeah, the disc is in there as well. That's what I thought. So, how do you get into it? Obviously, other people have had this problem as well. There we go, it's all there, look. I'll check the disc as well. Have you found it, Kath? Yeah. What's it look like? Uh, £10 free postage. Okay. I don't mind if these items are peak items, because, you know, we didn't pay anything for it, so... Mm. I just want to have a quick look at the disc. We're nearly there. We've done the bulk of it. Now we have these books. Star Trek. Oh, they're all Trekkie. Nope, there's two of them. Star Trek The Exhibition to Boldly Go. Which is also a Deep Space Nine magazine. So, The Exhibition. Uh, this is a programme. Any trekkies out there? So we're kind of struggling to find much on the uh, program. It also came with the Deep Space Nine poster magazine of Cisco, who's there, and it opens out into a massive poster. I'd put them together. I don't know. See if I can get a fiver. May do, may not do. I don't know. <laughs> And then next up is Asterix. Oops, sorry. Asterix and the Cauldron Book. Remember Asterix? Have you found this, Kath? Uh, can I just look at the picture again? Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, about uh, somebody 
previously sold one for two pounds plus postage. Okay. Paperback, nineteen seventy eight. Yeah, that's in good condition. Um. So. Two pounds plus postage. Right, we're getting to the to the bottom. What's this? Ah. Diono mirror. D I O N O. Oh, you can see yourselves up there. <laughs> this obviously scraps onto something. What does it say on the back? Diono worldwide patent protected, made in China. Looks like something that might go into the car. Yeah. For a baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, okay. So that would go over the headrest, which would make sense looking at the size of it. Yeah, so you'd get, I think you'd have two mirrors so that you can actually still see your baby even if they're facing backwards. Some, something like that. Oh, that's nice. I, I, I might be wrong. Dino Easy View Back Seats Mirror. Yeah. With a box. Okay, well, this has no box. Um. Yeah, no, they don't really sell, to be honest with you. So that'll end up with the bundle, probably. That's fine. Right, into the rest of the paper. So, in this one, oh, that's a big, chunky, heavy piece of glass. Uh, with another chunky, heavy piece of glass, this one's got a Jesus on the cross in it. And this one is like a plain, I don't know if it's a stopper of a sort or... Okay, glass things. So maybe five pounds for this one. It's got nice engraving on it. This one, not really sure what it is, if it's a paperweight or it's a bit phallic looking. Um, I don't know whether to try a fiver for that or pop that into the bundle, but uh, I'll decide that as I go along. It'll probably end up in the bundle. <laughs> Next we have this little blue vase with, I guess it's feathering detail on the pattern on the body a bit that's a nice color blue i like that okay so we're going to um oh you're all wobbly sorry we're going to put this onto some glass pages on facebook because it is nicely made it's it's flown you can see the contour mark on the bottom um and i just think this one warrants a little bit more investigation so that's going up on the facebook glass page see what they have to say Next, oh, oh, the lid fell out. <laughs> is oh, well, that's nice. Um, Charmouth pottery. That was quite tricky to read, as you can see. Charmouth pottery, a little house with a little lid. I like this kind of thing. That's very you. It's very me indeed, isn't it? Mm. Little fairy house. Uh, there's a gap there for like a spoon, which isn't there. But, uh, so it's a preserved pot, is preserved it? Preserved pot, yeah. I just think that's a lovely little thing. I'll take the lid off before I break it. Yes, yeah, definitely Charmouth. So we found uh, one that's currently listed for nine ninety nine, which gives us a, a starting point for this one. So we're going somewhere around nine ninety nine for that one. Then we've got some binoculars here, twelve by twenty five. We'll have a look at those in a minute wrap this up I'm trying to tidy up as I go along <laughs> I think this box is going to become my death pile the, the listing so binoculars 12 by 25 uh, no maker's name I don't know binoculars are binoculars aren't they it's difficult to say isn't it when you've got no maker's name or anything just generic binoculars yeah probably again you know Five to ten pounds. Five to ten pounds for the binoculars. Right, we've got quite a nice little mirror here. Is it a mirror? No, it's a picture frame. And it's got a peacock, some flowers. It looks a little bit past times esque. Uh, there's no maker's name on the back. I'll probably be asking maybe a fiver for this as well. Yeah, I think it's one yeah. of those things that you just kind of pick a price, isn't it? Pick a price. £5 is the price I pick. <laughs> okay, get in there, get in there, get in there. We have some aeroplanes. We have some aeroplanes. <laughs> We've 
got a United Airlines one made in Singapore by Lintroy. I think there's the white one here. And then you can bring out the wheels at the bottom and tuck them away. The Rothkaff Sun. This is not one of Cass' favourite things, airplanes. <laughs> no. There you go. It's in bit of going on holiday. Yeah. Don't really want to see where this is going to go. The next aeroplane. There's, there's one here that's Boeing 747. Yeah. Um, did sell in America, so you know, silly prices in America. Eight pounds. Right. But, you know, it might be better for you to job lot them. Well, that's what I was thinking, but I just want to check there's nothing like, because this one is made by ERCL. It looks more like a an army type plane. And the wheels all come out at the bottom of this one as well. Three pounds, but that was different times. Yeah. This is, a, speaking of boxes, this is a matchbox plane. <laughs> it's quite a sweet little plane, really. Does it have any more information on it than I a matchbox? I think box? it says Piper Commander. Essentially, but it's very worn underneath. It was definitely played with. Mm, this one there, nineteen seventy-six. They wanted forty-eight pounds for it. Wow, they wanted forty-eight pounds for this little plane. Yeah, they couldn't get it. I don't think they did. <laughs> so I, um, I think I'm going to bundle these planes together. Uh, I'll pick a price at some point. Um, but yeah, they can stay together. They came together. They can go together. Uh, yeah, I'd probably auction them. Too. Yeah. If you get any interest that way, maybe. They'll land where they're supposed to land. Ha 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 ha. Uh, okay. We have odds and sods. So we've got a little um, ashtray. That will probably end up in a bundle. Uh, little plastic rose. That's something and nothing. It probably had something else with it, but it no longer it's probably does. Probably Beauty and the Beast. Or yeah. Something. We've got a reflection plate. Again. That's definitely off something old. Yeah. But it's anybody's guess as to what. As to what that's come from. Yeah, motorbike, car, Land Rover, who knows. Who knows? More research to be done. We've got a little bit of kind of stretchy plastic bangle jewellery. That will probably go in the bundle. Yeah. The box. We have a necklace. Now, I know the guy that gave us uh, all this stuff is into his jewellery. <laughs> yeah. So, I would say this is dress. Uh, dress jewellery. Is that what they call it? Dress jewellery? Costume. Costume jewellery, that's it. Mm. So, I'd have to look into that. But it still is a nice piece. If it was worth anything, he would have kept it. He knows what he's looking at. So, I don't need to look to see if that's, like, the pearl. No, probably the box is probably... Nicer than the necklace. Then. Nottingham and wool. That's the box. Um, and a little figure as well from, I think, Thunderbirds. Uh, 1993. Okay, so the little character will go in a bundle. And then lastly is this album. And it's full of postcards and little annotations around the postcards. And I wouldn't know how to price this at all. Um, Lots of research needed for this as well. There's also little notes. I saw a letter in here. There were some coins taped in here. This is just somebody's like travelling history in a book. Uh, Viking radio, things they've listened to. They've obviously been to Scotland quite a lot. <laughs> Very interesting. From front to back. So I'm not sure what to do with this. There's a letter as well. I thought I saw some football memorabilia. A little Italia 90 postcard. So I think it's one of those things that you need to find. There's another one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's some more there. So yeah. Some some interest for somebody yeah. somewhere. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's more at the back. Salaries have obviously come a little bit loose. Some 
better for the person. Yeah, yeah something is very old. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to say about these, but they're interesting. So given that there are still some things that I need to look up and there may be a bundle involved as well, how much of, I asked you to keep a tally, Katya, how much mm. the tally comes to? Well, I'll pop this back and then we'll add it up and we'll let you know. So without the things that we haven't given value to, like the vars, the jug, the job loss stuff, we're looking at 130 to 150 pounds, but you know, it's got to sell. Well, firstly, I've got to list it. That, that could take some time in itself. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's not bad for a free box, I think. Like I said, one man's uh, rubbish is another man's treasure, so many thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.